Bonjour. Today we're visiting the lovely Museum Marmottan, located on the 16th district at number 2 Rue Louis Bouilly. You can take the subway uh, line 9 to La Mouette station and walk 8 minutes through the parks. It's open Tuesdays to Sundays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Thursdays, they have the late night till 9 p.m. Tickets are 14 euros 50 cents adults and 10 euros for under 18 or students under 25. Children under 7 or disabled people, it's free. And you know what? It's also free. Guess what? Our channel. You can subscribe and we send you love from France with love. And let's share the love with family and friends so we can keep growing the community and showing you all the beautiful places from France. Thanks to all our subscribers and also to the new ones. And that really keeps motivating us. So let's keep going. I'm going to leave all the information on the description box. So in 1932, Paul Marmottan dedicated his town house and his personal collection to the Academy of Fine Arts. This museum is a temple of Impressionism. It opened to the public in 1934, and in just over 80 years, the museum collection has doubled in size, and it has become home to the world's leading collection of works by Claude Monet. Here we can see a, a painting of Michel Monet as a baby. He was the second son of Claude Monet and Camille Doncieux, his first wife. Michel was his last direct descendant. He had no offspring of his own and he made a donation uh, for the Musée Marmottan to be the universal successor. The museum has a world's leading collection of works by his father. Here we can appreciate his oldest son, Jean Monet. There is something curious curious about him because he married his stepsister, Blanche Ochede, the daughter of his father's second wife. He passed away at the age of 46 and he's buried in Giverny, the same cemetery where his father and his brother are buried. He was living in the city of Rouen. We have a video of the city and I invite you to see it and he was working there as a chemist for his uncle. Well at the Museum Marmottan uh, you are going to see a significant in terms of its size but also because of its range and variety from the first landscapes painted on the banks of uh, the river La Seine to the landscapes that he made when he traveled around Europe, all the way to the water lilies that are at the end of his life. So he dedicated uh, his time in Giverny to paint the water lilies. This collection, it is of interest also because of its particular emotional quality in that it consists of intimate works family portraits and impressionist from Claude Monet personal collection. We have to remember that uh, his son was the one who, who gave the museum all the paintings that his father had given him and all of which were displayed on the walls of his house at Giverny. If you love Monet, I encourage you to see my video on Monet Giverny home. You will see the home inside, uh, paintings from his friends that were also very famous artists, and the beautiful gardens. And we have to give thanks to Michel Monet because he perpetuated the memory of his father at his nearby property in Sorel, Moussel where he surrounded himself with a number of his works. Later, he donated everything that he had from his father to the Museum Marmottan, allowing us to enjoy Claude Monet paintings from his very beginning, so we can see the transition and understand better the evolution of Monet painting. In 1840, 
Oscar Claude Monet was born on the 14th of November in Paris. In 1845, Monet's family moved from Paris to the Havre, that's located in Normandy. And Le Havre is a, it's in the coast, uh, it's on the right bank of uh, the river La Seine. That explains why Monet has many paintings of La Seine. And he also had like an infatuation with the lighting at each hour of the day, how it changed the colors and the perception. In 1858, Monet has his first success by doing cartoons and he meets Eugène Boudin. He was one of the first French painters of the 19th century to paint landscapes. He came from the city of Honfleur and uh, he started uh, doing his work outside the studio. A great painter of seascapes, he's considered one of the precursors of Impressionism. In 1859, Monet moves to Paris, and in 1860, he meets Camille Pissarro at the Swiss Academy of Paris. In 1861, Monet was sent to do his military service in Algeria. And in 1862, he returned to his family in the Havre, Normandy. The same year he moves, he goes back to Paris, where he starts frequenting the workshop of Charles Clair, and he starts a friendship with Basile, Renoir, and Alfred Sisley. In 1864, he stays in Normandy uh, at the cities of uh, Rouen and Flor with Basile, Boudin, and John Caen. In 1865, Monet's first participation at the Salon, where he exhibits two landscapes. In 1866, he is going to exhibit The Lady in a Green Dress, and that's a painting of his late wife Camille, his first wife. Uh, it goes to the Salon, and it will have a great success. In 1867, he has financial travels and he leaves to go to the Arc, back to his family. And his future wife, Camille, she stood in Paris with Jean, their first uh, born son. He was rejected at the Salon with the ladies in the garden, and that work was bought uh, later on by Basile. In 1868, Monet is received at the Salon with a Marine. He wins the Yuri Silver Medal at the International Maritime Exhibition in Le Havre. In 1869, he is rejected again by the Salon, and Monet goes and he settles in Bougival, around 15 kilometers west of Paris, and he starts working with Renoir at the Grenouillère. In 1870, he is rejected at the Salon and he marries Camille in June. In Paris, the Franco-Prussian War starts while he's working in Trouville, the coast of Normandy. And then he takes his family to safety in England, where he meets the art dealer, Paul Durand Ruel. In 1871, Monet travels to Holland. In 1872, he goes back to Rouen at Normandy and Le Havre, where he paints Impression Rising Sun. This is a painting that gave the name to the Impressionist movement. Uh, it Generally, you can see it at the Marc Motin. In this moment, it's not there. You will find it at the Musée d'Orsay because this year it's the 150th anniversary of uh, the Impressionist movement. And well, if you cannot come to Paris to see Monet, Monet goes to Washington on the 8th of September of this year till the 19th of uh, January 2025. They are going to exhibit 
the painting Impression Rising Sun. So don't miss it if you're in the States or you're close to Washington. It's a really good opportunity. In 1874, he participates in the first exhibition of the Impressionist group at the photographer Nadar. And Nadar used to have uh, his um, atelier very close to Opera Garnier. And all the painters that were rejected and they were friends, they got together and they created their own exhibition after being rejected so many times at the Salon. That shows you that if you persevere, it will get you there. It will conquer your goals. In 1877, it was the third Expressionist exhibit, where Monet in particular exhibited paintings from the Gare Saint-Lazare, a train station that actually you can use it when you are in Paris. In 1878, he stays in Paris for a while where his second son, Michel, is born. And finally, he's setting in Beteuil with the Ochede family. In 1879, his first wife, Camille, she died at age 32. And uh, the cause of her death is not clear. It could have been tuberculosis or a pelvic cancer. In 1880, Monet does not take part in the Fifth Impressionist exhibition and gradually he starts his independence from the group. He exhibits a landscape painting of La Vacour at the Salon. And he also does a solo exhibition at the Paris publisher of La Vie Moderne. In 1881, Monet relinquished the Salon for good and he spends his time in Normandy. He settles in Poissy with uh, Alice Ochede and her five children from her previous marriage and his two sons from his marriage with Camille. Later on, they're going to have a child. So they were a really big family. In 1883, during the spring, the artist settles in Giverny. He travels to the Riviera with Renoir. In 1886, he takes part in an exhibition in Brussels and New York, and he travels to the Belle Ile, where he meets the critic Gustave Geoffroy. In 1888, Monet stays in Antibes, that's south of France uh, in the coast. It's a gorgeous place to visit. And in 1889, Monet launches a public subscription in support of the Louvre Museum uh, acquisition of Manet painting Olympia. If you watch my video on Giverny, uh, Manet's home, you will see that he had lots of paintings from different uh, painters that were his friends. They were very close together and they help each other. It's really nice to see how they, they were not rivals. In 1990, Monet buys the property uh, where he already lived in Giverny and he paints the Haystacks and Poplars series. I just want to mention that uh, during the month of May of this year, 2024, uh, Sotheby's in New York was able to auction a painting that he made in Giverny in 1893, and they sold it for 34.8 million US dollars. The painting is named Molle à Giverny. In 1892, Monet stays in Rouen, where he begins the series of paintings of the cathedral. He rented rooms with windows that will have a, a view toward the cathedral. And depending on the hour of the day, he will change from one building to another. And he had several paintings at the same time. You can see the cathedral of Rouen on my video of uh, the city of Rouen. It really gives you a lot of perspective and you are able to understand the texture 
that you will find in the painting. In 1900, he exhibits a number of water lily paintings at Durand Ruel. And in 1908, he travels to Venice with Alice, his second wife, from October to December. In 1911, his wife Alice passed on May 19th. In 1914, Monet's eldest son, John, the son that he had with Camille, he dies at uh, age 46. And John's widow, Blanche Ochede, uh, she moves to Giverny to live with Monet. Her father-in-law and uh, the husband of her late mother. In 1916, Monet starts painting the water lilies. And in 1922, Monet signs an agreement and he gifted the panels of the water lilies to the French estate on April 12. He was a very close friend of Georges Clemenceau, the French president. And it was him, the responsible, for having the water lilies installed at uh, the Orangerie Museum. I invite you to see my video on the Orangerie Museum. I show you the two saloons that have the water lilies. And the history that uh, tells you why the water lilies are being exhibited at the Orangerie. 1923, Monet goes uh, under an operation for his cataracts that it was diagnosed 10 years earlier. 1926, on December 5th, Monet dies of lung cancer at the age of 86. He had a long and proliferous life. He did what he loved the most, and that was painting and gardening. If you get the chance to visit Giverny, you will be able to admire Claude Monet Paradise. From spring to fall, they have uh, different plants flowering. Uh, it's very colorful. It's extremely beautiful. And the house as well. It's a very uh, interesting house. It's very cozy. It makes you feel the atmosphere that it had when the family, remember that it was a big family, was living there. And he also loved to gather all his friends. Um, most of them were painters, also writers. In 1927, a few months after Monet's death, the water lilies were installed at the Musée de l'Orangerie. They said that when Clemenceau, the president, saw the water lilies, he cried. And he painted them when he was with the cataract. He painted from his memory. It was a Clemenceau who urged Monet to have a surgery. So the last three years of his life, he was able to recover and see the colors again. Monet did not use black on his paintings because for him black was not a color. On the day of his funeral, a black drapery was placed to cover the coffin and uh, Clemenceau was full of rage and energy. He went to the kitchen, he got uh, one of the yellow curtains and he put it on the coffin instead of the black uh, <laughs> drape. If you are visiting Paris or you live around, uh, I would really suggest for you to visit the museum. It's not crowded at all. You are able to sit and enjoy all the Impressionist paintings from Monet. They also have salons where other Impressionist painters are exhibited. I'll be doing a video on the Marmotin to showcase the other painters. Let me know if you have a preference for any particular painting from Monet. I find it difficult to choose, but one of 
the paintings that I prefer is the roses that you're seeing right now. And I believe that the reason is because all around France you can see wild roses trees growing absolutely everywhere. Uh, many colors and it's a feast for the eyes. I dedicate this video to all the Impressionist lovers, especially the ones that love uh, the paintings from Monet. And I hope you have been able to enjoy it as much as I did. The Marc Motin Museum is not as well known by the tourists as the Musée de l'Orangerie, but this is a hidden gem in Paris. It has a wonderful shop where you can find impressionism children's books and souvenirs that you can take home and remember you of the time when you visited the Marc Motin Museum. Here we are at the lockers to get my bag and it's totally free. Hope to see you on my next video.